Hey, what's going on? Friends and family, my name is Skyland, and I am a little bit sick, but I'm gonna try to be as expressive as I can be because I'm excited. You know, I'm hyped about the future of gaming as a whole. A lot of people are kind of doomsayers, but uh, no, not me. I keep the hype alive. Say so yeah, every video, that's my thing. I don't know, it rhymes, so it's gotta be right. Uh, anyways, uh, so before we get into, well, you know, the title of the topic here, you, you know what we're talking about. Before we do that, I want you guys to put in your own words in the comments what you want to see in the future. Uh, just as an example, for me, I want to see more asymmetrical multiplayer games. You know, games like Left 4 Dead or Evolve that passed. And uh, I don't know, like um, prop hunt kind of stuff. I like the game Witchet. And, uh, you know, more, more stuff like that. I think there's a free to play game called Deceit, uh, SCP. Uh, it is pretty cool secret laboratory. So I, I like games like that where a player can play the monster and other players are, well, not the monster. And yeah, I don't know. Asymmetrical. That shit's cool to me. So I want to see more of that. Uh, so yeah, let me know. What do you want to see in the future? But now let's talk about what will probably be the new hype of the future. As you guys might know, currently we have a giant fad of battle royale games. And a couple years before that, it was MOBAs. A couple years before that, it was MMOs. There's always this um, new, you know, new thing that people latch on to. We have new content creators. We have, you know, new people playing these games. Obviously, uh, brand new people being born into the world every day. They come of age and they find these games and boom, pow, catch out. There you go. Uh, and we have new fads. Uh, the developers, they grow up and they, they want to make something new. And then they, they see something new on the horizon. And they all kind of come together and they, you know, they, yeah, they kind of steal ideas. They remix ideas. That's what everything is about. Fortnite, the biggest and frankly best battle royale, most popular, was straight up, like completely admitted. Yeah, we, we see this idea. We're going to take this idea. We're going to try our hand at it. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with trends and, and trying to ride waves as, you know, as long as you're good about it. <laughs> A lot of games are going to be swallowed up by that wave uh, and sunken down into the sea. But, uh, I don't know, some, some might actually stay afloat, or even better, you know, be the wave, uh, which is Fortnite's case. So right now, we do have battle royales, but I've noticed whenever there is one big, and it's not just gaming, whenever there's this, this big new fad, there's this new movement of some kind, there is always a counterculture to that movement. Uh, and it can be just as popular, it just might come in a more amoebus and vague form of some kind, such as alternative rock, punk rock, and, you know, metal and stuff like that to compare to hip hop and pop. Uh, probably just as popular, it just wasn't as united as a front, which is, is kind of the point. So this new emergent, uh, I guess, genre or lump of genres or concept, man, a cultural movement is taking many forms. And it's kind of hard to talk about and kind of hard to show examples of. But basically, right now, we've got a lot of Battle Royale games. And what would be the counter of the most player versus player genre? That would be probably a player versus environment type of game. And a game that also in some ways borrows from that concept of randomness, of, of like a poker-esque type of gameplay. RNG, maybe. Loot. Loot-driven gameplay as well. So that's kind of how things work. Uh, countercultures aren't always polar opposites. They actually intertwine with some ideas and concepts. And I think that what we're going to see in the future is basically looter PvE games. That's pretty vague, right? And I, I think that already you can kind of feel that coming. You see the water receding and a wave maybe on the horizon of many, many gacha RPGs. Uh, many more Diablo likes, action RPGs that are looter focused, a uh, literally a actual named genre, emergent genre called looter shooter, which is, I think, championed by Warframe, but was fathered by Borderlands. And there's a few other games here and there that have come out, but basically it's like Borderlands and Warframe. And we have Destiny, obviously, which, you know, whatever. Division came out and Anthem is right there. Uh, right, right, We're coming out real soon here and we're going to see more of those. We're going to see more of those and we're just going to see more progression style games, which is RPGs. We're going to see more RPGs, action RPGs, adventure RPGs, and we're just going to see more games incorporate essentially basically what you what you might expect, like gambling and loot boxes and incorporating that into the gameplay itself, which is probably where it should be. Frankly, it, it should not be literal gambling. You should not be spending money for chances at characters. Gotcha. Fuck you. We should not be spending money for chances at stronger weapons and things like that. BDO. Fuck you. Uh, we should not be, you know, spending money, uh, actual hard earned solid money on things that are not a solid give. You know, it's not a solid give and take. It's 
we're not actually getting anything from that. And it, it's actually rips gameplay away from games generally. So yeah, we've had this huge fad that hopefully we're on the tail end of, of all these gambling games that are so perverted. We don't need any of that. You know, just, just, they basically just rip out and ruin the gameplay so they can make a buck. No, I think now what developers are getting a little smarter thanks to games like Warframe, showing them how to get away with it. They're like, whoa, 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 you don't need to sell loot boxes. You don't need to have all these awful microtransactions. In fact, just, just make your game free. Put a lot of content in your game. But you, you know what, you know what? Make your game the loot box, yeah? And hey, you know, frankly, that, that can be kind of fun, especially if you give it some gamification, you know? Uh, of course, games like Black Desert Online, um, well, they, they gamify the RNG but then they give the solution to that and they, they make it more random. They give the solution, the key, it has a microtransaction essentially. So that's that's still shitty. We're still gonna see that, but we're still we're gonna see more games more like Warframe uh, tr tr coming out and churning out. And I think we're gonna see more games like like Diablo as well. We're just gonna see more looter style games, period, because it's fun. It, it frankly is fun. It keeps the game fresh. You know, randomness is pretty cool. And maybe we could have seen this uh, coming back from uh, like rogue likes and then into rogue lights, uh, you know, binding of Isaac, stuff like that. Rogues were so big and you can still see elements of that coming out. Yo, risk of rain too, by the way, looking pretty exciting. And we're actually seeing this in MMOs, a lot more rogue inspired MMOs and dude, RuneScape is still big Iron Man mode hype. So there's a lot going on with looter style games. And always actually, there's always been games that have been super fun to play that were straight non-looter style. So, I mean, we have, you got your RTSs, you got your arena shooters, but then we, we did have Diablo back then. We, we did have a culture of PVE. It was always PVP and PVE. Uh, but now there is this, this big culmination of just like in PVP and PVE. We're just seeing a lot of trending with, with just pure looting. So I think that we're, we're gonna see probably PVE VP games. We're probably gonna find out um, a lot more co-op games. We're gonna find, actually, I think more uh, asymmetrical games too, uh, where players run through a dungeon, which is a looter style game play, a dungeon diver, and then you might have somebody who controls, uh, you know, like the dungeon, uh, boss people. I actually already found like five games that are gonna be doing that in the future. So we're gonna see a lot of different technical, like, like pure genres, but with the overall umbrella term of looting and taking that the deep inspiration from games like Diablo and early MMOs and incorporating that into gameplay, which is going to confuse everyone because MMO and RPG are both super amoebas terms. So we're going to get more destinies and anthems. Yes, divisions. We're going to get more of those, which you can call looter shooters or MMO lights. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're going to get more Sea of Thieves and maybe No Man's Skies. And, uh, you know, we, we had a trend of Minecraft likes for a while. That could be kind of seen as lootery. Sure, it's more crafting, but I think what we're, we're, we're going to really get less of the crafting and it's more focused on, you know, being able to kill a boss really quickly, very efficiently and uh, getting the RNG chance higher for you so that you can earn its big rare drop. Luckily, you know, ho or hopefully uh, the games will not monetize that. It won't be a cosmetic thing that you purchase from the shop. It'll be something you earn, you know, like back in the day with vanilla World of Warcraft, you earned that Thunder Fury, man. You know, you, you showed that off the hand of, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll so many, so many different weapons. Actually, we could just go on. I'm not going to go on that nostalgia trip today, but basically, oh man, I'm gushing. There's so many cool things that you can do with a looter style game um, that I think a lot of people are hungry for. Now, we, we actually can see now a ton of Diablo likes, especially on mobile. We can already see more um, games that are inspired by that as well, a little bit further. Maybe not so much as completely focused on looting, but you know, we were, we're seeing more action RPGs. We're seeing more Monster Hunter like games and we're seeing more games that overall are about repetition, uh, becoming efficient and getting new loot finding new loot if it's like rare drops or whatever get you know just it's just sweet loot if it's pure it's a full weapon or something a cosmetic uh some i don't know just just some material which is kind of what you get in monster hunter um some material so that you can become better as a player uh but you to get that to get those materials more often you have to be a good player uh, so I, I know I know it seems like it's it's randomness and it's like, oh man, the game is a loot box. And it's like, yeah, the game is a loot box, but you have to keep in mind, much better than being a cash shop, you know, thing, which is literally just luck and spending money. It is a game. That means you can gamify it. That means you can be good or bad at the RNG. Some people don't get that. Um, you guys haven't played these games. It, it's about being efficient. It's not always about just one and done. It's about playing over and over and over again, knowing the chances, the drop rates, the drop tables, the loot, 
tables. Uh, knowing all of that, uh, getting people together, playing together, and yes, I do think cooperative PvE looting style games is is going to be the big frontier. Um, you know, in learning all that, um, it, it basically becomes a game of poker, which is a competitive thing. And that's kind of how I also explain uh, battle royales. It's like, yeah, no, battle royales can be competitive. It's like poker. So right now, yeah, we have battle royales being a big giant wave coming and about to slap us in the face. But behind that, um, or maybe beside it, I don't know, dude. I, this fucking metaphor is weird. But like, like that, uh, we we are going to have a lot of looting style PVE focused. RPGs, and I think it's kind of evident because we can see those those style games, Monster Hunter, World of Warcraft, even these style of games. Um, even though the looting aspect isn't what's esported, we are seeing these kind of games being taken more seriously. More games like these are being speedrun uh, and raced, and actually esports. You know, even even mobile action RPGs, people are taking them more seriously. And I think that's really awesome. And so, so less and less are we having these casual pay to win autoplay style looting games where it's just literally all about the loot and it's basically just, you know, a, a roulette or a slot machine. No, we're, we're taking those those aspects more seriously, putting them back in the game where they belong. And from there, we're going to emerge and flourish. And I, I think that's the big push here. I think Anthem is going to be popular. I think Warframe is only going to get bigger. I think some classic MMO that focus on that gameplay, like RuneScape, are going to stay around. And I think all together, we're going to see, yeah, in the future, more games like Battle Royales coming out, which are also looter based. So essentially, kind of loot based uh, games like that. So Battle Royales are still going to be big. And right beside it, you know, the counterculture is going to be looter shooters, looter action RPGs, and, you know, uh, freaking hero collectors, things like that. All about getting that sweet loot. I think that's uh, that's going to be the way to go. Hopefully, it's going to go in a, in a better direction uh, than what it has been previously, because we kind of scoff at it. It is actually technically popular and in terms of a global scale with, you know, all sorts of walks of life. Technically, it is popular, but is it good? That's debatable. So hopefully, we're going to get more and more good games that we can critically uh, you know, acclaim. That's uh, hey, awesome, cool, fun stuff. Uh, so anyways, that's going to be my thoughts and feelings on what the future, uh, the near future of gaming is going to look like. I'm already talking about those games, playing those games. I'm already, you know, trying to uh, get in line for the uh, wave. I want to ride it as hard as I can. Uh, hopefully you guys join me for that. So I'm going to be streaming it. Uh, definitely subscribe for that. Look forward to more content on action RPGs, games like Path of Exile, Monster Hunters. You know, Dauntless is actually kind of interesting. And oh, of course, Anthem. Yeah, upcoming Anthem is pretty exciting. So look forward to that, guys. And well, obviously, keep the hype alive. My name is Skylint, and I'll see you again next time.